I believe that every public speaker should say nothing at all. <laughs> nothing. Now I know that sounds like a bit of an exaggeration, but when you think about it, how many speeches have you heard from this stage? Hundreds. How many news broadcasts have you listened to? How many words of wisdom from teachers and family members and friends? The radio. All these words that keep coming at you. And how many of those words have affected you? How many of those words have really struck your heart and said, I need to do something about this? Very few. Very few. Exactly. If I was to give what I would think is the perfect speech, it would go something like this. Change! <laughs> change, ladies and gentlemen, because change is a sign of life. Change is a sign of growth. If you're not changing, you're dying. You are dying if you're not changing. We've heard all about that tonight. Change. Change. <laughs> I still have eight minutes, so... <laughs> <laughs> My wife is a great cook, by the way. Right. So, how many of you have changed? <laughs> And well done, three people so far, that's great. <laughs> Change. Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, why is change so important? I've already told you. Well, no change, you die. Thank you, Andy. One person was listening, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Tonight we're going to look at why we need to change, who can change, and how. Why, who, how? It just sounds good. Why? Because if you're not changing, you're dying. Think about your business. In business, if your business is not changing, if it's not fluid, if it's not moving with the market, it's going to die. Your competitors are going to say, yay! And they're going to come charging over you if your business is not changing. And it's the same in life. If we as human beings are not growing, stretching our brains, we are dying. We are dying. That's why it's so important. Who can change? Good news is everybody. Every single one of you. Even those, the three of you, perfect, you've changed already. The rest of you, there is hope. We can all change. Take me for example. <laughs> Take me. In 2013, Steve Matthews doing his first speech, icebreaker, first speech, Steve, Matthews, shy, nervous, still am a bit nervous, but that's fine, no self-confidence, embarrassed, actually, embarrassed, according to his first evaluator, someone suffering from a neurological disorder. <laughs> Great, huh? Steve, 2016, doing his 10th speech. Three years later, strong, a leader, yeah. confident. <laughs> An ex-president of the club. I mean, three years, that's all. Three years. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. I won't go into all the boring details of where I've come from. All I can tell you is, we can all do it. We can. We can all make that change. But is change easy? Is change easy? No. No, of course not. This is change of the brain. 
This is addictions, habits. Stuff we do every day that we don't want to do, but we do it anyway. It's not easy. What I want you to do for the next few seconds, I'm going to say about 30 seconds, on a sheet of paper, write down something you want to change. It could be your business, your personal life, whatever it is. Just write down something. I need to change something. And if you don't think you have anything to change, you're wrong. <laughs> Please do that now. That's great. Thank you very much. Please carry on writing if you need to. I just need to introduce you to my friend, the skull. <laughs> this is a skull. This sits on my desk. Pretend the jar is a skull and the sand is the brain. The sand is the mind. As you can see, I hope you can see, this is a mind that is settled. It's not changing. It's comfortable. This is a mind that's not changing. Every time I look at this mind, I ask myself, is that me? Is that me? Where I am today and where I was three months ago, six months ago, whatever it is. If I answer yes, that's me settled, I start to shake the jaw. And the brain becomes unsettled. And the more I shake it, the more I shake it, I get reminded that there's actually something else that can help me. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the tool that I need to change. Well, not a plastic screwdriver, of course, but it reminds me I have three tools that I can use to change. Do you want to know what those three tools are? Yeah. Yes. 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 Right. The most important tool, and you probably want to write this down, in the world of psychology, they have this thing called motivating belief. Motivating belief. Which by definition, of course, means it's something that you know that is true that will move you to act. That's what a motivating belief is. We're going to do that right now. Underneath that change sentence, I want you to write three words. I need to. Three words. Simple. I need to. And you can fill in the dotted line whenever you want to. But the I need to is, I need to do whatever. And the emphasis is on the word need, because that word need is so critical. If you don't believe that you need to do that, all the words in the world are not going to make you change. You've got to believe that you need to do it. Are we together? Are we all agreeing? Yeah, perfect. I don't want to lose any of you because we're just about to finish. The other tool, so we've looked at motivating belief, the other tool is you guys. You are my tools. <laughs> Doesn't sound too good, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> what I mean is, you need friends. You need friends. Friends are your tools. Friends, your support group. And that's what you need. And that's what you've been to me for the last three years. And what you will be for me in the next years when I'm doing the advanced manuals and just getting even better. You need friends. You also need a good environment. That's your third tool. A good environment. If you're dealing with an addiction to alcohol, don't go to the bar. <laughs> it's pretty clear, right? Pretty straightforward. Don't go to the bar. Three tools. Friends, environment, and most importantly, motivating belief. When I started my speech, that 20 second speech that I gave you is all I needed to give you. That was it. That was it. Change. Because. That's it. You have to do the rest. You have to. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you have to do it? Nobody else is going to do that. My friends, may I never hear 
the tragedy of somebody not changing because you've got all the tools around you you've got the people you need the, the tools use them change and grow thank you Please take a minute to evaluate.